on Dave Petrick out of Vancouver, British Columbia. Introducing first to my left in the blue corner. He went in at 146 pounds, wearing the black trunks, coming in with a professional record of zero victories and one loss from Cloverdale, British Columbia, Dave the Peruvian Menace, Petrick. And introducing his opponent to my right in the red corner. He weighed in at 144 pounds even, wearing the green trunks with yellow and black trim. He comes in with a professional record of four victories and zero losses. He is the fastest rising star in Canadian professional boxing from Calgary, Alberta, Steve. Referee John Brack will give the instructions. All right, gentlemen, you both know the rules. I expect you to fight clean, fight fair, fight hard. Obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Touch them up. Good luck. Well, we both know, Kenny, that these two guys have met before. It was a great fight. I expect much of the same. In fact, I expect more out of Dave Petrick because he has lost to Claggett. He knows what he's up against this time around. This should be a very good four-rounder. Well, exactly. I mean, the last fight was great. I think this fight's going to be a real good one, too. I think this is going to be an excellent fight. It's, it, the styles make for a great fight. One's the aggressor, the other one's the boxer. You're going to see Steve Claggett, like you say, more of the boxer, where uh, Petrick, you can see the size of his arms and everything for his weight. He's got a lot of power in that small frame of his. And he's, he's quick and he's aggressive, and he goes to the body. He goes to the body, he's going to try and slow down Claggett. Claggett boxes real well. Claggett boxes and moves real well, so, so Petrick's going to have to stay on him, go to the body, and make sure that his punch count is up. Make sure that he throws. 85 90 punches of this guy around slow him down a bit good uppercut right there by claggett and you can see right off the bat too ken a big difference from the first fight between these two guys where they were feeling each other out they know exactly what they want in this fight exactly uh, patrick knows he's got to go to the body he's got to keep exactly with that right hand right there he's going to stay on him, keep going downstairs and claggett's got to move and throw his combinations from the outside look to look to tie him up a little bit on the inside he's not really tying him up he looks like he wants to fight him a little bit more this fight Watch the body punches from Patrick. He's going to stay on him and he's going to go to the body. He's going to stay down low. He's going to try and slow him down. Because he knows he can't box. He can't box with him, so he's going to try and slow him down, go to the body every time he gets close. Is that the key for the boxer, Ken, when you got the aggressor like Patrick's trying to be the aggressor here for Claggett? Just try to keep the aggressor in the middle of the ring so he can just move around him? Exactly. And be, be like the guy, the, the matador with the bull. The, 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 Patrick's going to be the bull, and, 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 and Claggett's going to be the, the matador. And, and what happens here is, is you have to keep boxing and keep punching when you're the matador. You can't just take, look at this, you can't take them punch, so he moves out, and he gets ready to box him again. And Patrick's got to keep going on him, stay on him, make him fight you, and keep going to the body. Slow these movers down. There it is. He's going to slow him down to the body. And that's just it. You're seeing some great defense, too. Watch the punches of Petrick, but also watch the gloves of Steve Claggett as Claggett is able to block a lot of those big punches just because he's keeping his gloves up all the time, and the judges are not supposed to award points when those big punches hit those gloves or hit the arms or anything like that. It should be clean blows, right, Ken? Exactly. The de defense is such a big part of this game. But, you know, if you, if you watch it so far, Petrick's doing exactly what he wants this first round. He's keeping on him. He's making the fight. And he's, he's, he's back. He's backing up Claggett, and, but Claggett is still doing a very good job with his boxing. He's, he's being patient. There it is, a nice counter right hand, left hook. He's being patient. And he's waiting for his punches because you can't keep the pace up that Patrick's going at right now. Seconds to go here in round number one. We've got a dandy here in the welterweight division. Steve Claggett out of Calgary taking on Dave Petrick out of Vancouver, British Columbia. Steve Petrick can't be waiting like he did the last 10 seconds. He's got to be his. His fight has to be on him, on him, on him. Don't give him a chance to breathe. Don't give him a chance to box. 
Well, the pace in round one was very, very good by both boxers. Let's see if they can keep it up here in round number two. I'm James Monsees, along with former Canadian two-time heavyweight champion Kendall Acousta. Glad you could join us as we've got some very good talent in the ring here in the welterweight division. Steve Claggett battling Dave Petrick out of BC. This is the exact kind of fight that Pe Petrick wants to fight inside, throwing lots of punches at him. But Claggett is a very, very slick boxer. He boxes good. He moves good. He counter punches good. He does everything good. So, so, so our, our friend Patrick from the from the West Coast is going to have to start throwing more punches and keep pressure on him if he wants to slow him down and go to the body. And He's, the thing is, too, Ken, like there you've seen you've seen lots of boxers where. You know, like uh, he's taking on a guy who can really punch. And I'm talking about Steve Claggett, but uh, a guy like Claggett doesn't come around very often where he's able to come in and come out and punch and face the big punchers and still make it look as if he's kind of winning the fight. Exactly. He just threw a real nice combination, stayed nice and patient. Even under all this heavy pressure, stayed nice and cool. That's a real good sign. Good overhand right by Petrick. And that's exactly what Petrick wants. He wants more of those overhead rights that connect and make Steve Claggett take notice. He's got to keep going to the body like that, and then he's got to bring uppercuts with those body shots. Go each side to the body and come with the uppercut. And he's got to stay on him, and he's got to keep his hands up like he's doing now. He's keeping his hands up. And then he's throwing off, off his defense. He's throwing hooks both sides of the body. And of course, because Petrick is the smaller of the two, he has to try to stay close. Exactly. Uh, Patrick's got to keep uh, Claggett's got to keep boxing, keep moving. He's doing a great job right now. He's just got to continue doing it, and he's just got to keep the jab in his face, side to side, keep his hands up, and box him. You can hear the yells of body coming from Patrick's corner. They want him to go to the body against Claggett and hopefully hit a nerve where they might slow him down a bit because every time that Patrick pressures Claggett, Claggett is able to just kind of sneak out of there in Muhammad Ali fashion. Exactly. And the only way they, they can not sneak out with the Muhammad Ali uh, uh, fashion is if you start going to the body locks. You, you can't move, you can't wiggle the body away, but you can wiggle the head and, 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 and Claggett doing a good job of that. There's a nice uppercut. Yeah, good two, three punch combination there by Patrick, but Claggett came, comes back with a couple of his own can. Yeah, exactly. Claggett is a, is a real nice fighter. He stands up and he's very patient and he never gets excited. And he's, he's taking some good body shots and some good head shots and he stays nice and relaxed. He just punches back relaxed. Well, Claggett does a very good job of protecting his head and uh, those uh, two or three punches that we had seen, uh, Patrick was just hitting the gloves and, and those really are not supposed to count. Couple of shots there, it did count though. Exactly. At the end though, I think that Patrick's finding out that Claggett really can't hurt him. So he's he's walking into everything Claggett's got. It might take a toll on Claggett's conditioning as the fight wears on. Well, we're through two rounds, and I'll tell you what, uh, Dave Petrick uh, was able to throw some pretty good bombs there in that second round. And here's a look at some of the action. Now that got through. That's a counted punch. We'll get another look at this one here, Ken. And uh, he just got a piece of the chin of Steve Claggett, but that second punch really should not count because as you see with Steve Claggett, he keeps those gloves up and he does a very good job, Ken, of really protecting his head. And, and you don't see that a lot from professional boxers. Well, he, he, he's got good defensive skills. And another thing I like about him is right after he gets hit, he stays patient and he counter punches. He's a, he's a good all-around fighter, uh, Claggett. I think it's very impressive for a young guy. He's just going to stay in the gym and keep working and keep working his record up. And who knows where uh, Claggett's career could take him? Maybe to a world championship. Round number three between Steve Claggett and Dave Patrick. Glad you could join us for professional boxing out of Edmonton, Alberta. So far, it's been a very tight fight to score. Dave Patrick with a couple of. Good punches there to start off the round, and that got the attention of Steve Claggett. That defense didn't hold up against those big punches. See, these are the kind of punches that uh, uh, Patrick has got to do. Don't throw some TNT on every punch. Throw some quick three, four punch combinations. Let them go quick, and then you're going to start to get Patrick or Claggett off his game. But if you don't throw it, if you just throw them big hooks to the body, he's going to catch them, and he's going to counter off them. Is that probably one of the toughest things to learn as a pro, Ken, is to, you know, 
everyone thinks that every punch should be 110 percent but really they shouldn't right no they should not exactly what he did there is he's going to do more of he's going to throw the punches together with speed he's going to he's going to match the speed with uh, claggett if he wants to win this fight and then and then he has a chance to win it but if he doesn't match the speed he has no chance he's got to get away with him from them big hooks that he just threw quick short punches bing 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 two three four together and then he'll then he'll get claggett's attention Good uppercut by Claggett getting through the defense of Petrick. Both boxers keeping their gloves up high, trying to protect themselves. See, in a fight like this, this is a very, very close fight. Both guys are really well into well into this fight. And I mean, it's the guy who's going to throw more punches like you just seen from Petrick here. He can do more like that instead of waiting and looking for the big punch or the big body punch. Just bang, 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 let two, three, four together. Keep him up. And in tight like this, Ken, for the boxer, is this a tougher fight for him when he's in tight, or is it a better fight for him? This is a tough fight for both guys because it's an evenly matched fight. Both fighters, they've, this is the second time they fought. They both know each other. It's a tough fight for either guy. But when you're fighting inside like this, you're looking for short, quick punches. Don't try and load up with anything. Claggett doing a great job right there as he hit Patrick with a couple of good right hands. Patrick says, give me more. Now you can see some of the fatigue coming into round number three. These guys have thrown a lot of punches, Ken, and, and there's a big left hook right there and another right hand that catches Petrick. Steve Claggett showing us in round number three, another big left, and Petrick looking as if he's very tired. A good opportunity for Claggett to end this fight if he gets him right where he wants him. See, that's what we call the sharp shooting. He's, he's aiming his punches right in the right spot while, while Petrick's throwing, he's firing just before he gets there. And that's exactly what's really taking it out of uh, out of Petrick from the West Coast right now. Petrick showing a lot of damage on that left side of his face. Can uh, Claggett has done a good job with that right hand of his, cutting through the defense of Petrick with seconds to go here in round number three. What a great fight we've had between these two gentlemen, one out of Vancouver, BC, the other one out of Calgary. Patrick got one shot here. He's got to go in. He's got to win this round real, real big. Let's go to Kenny's scorecard, the independent jeweler scorecard. Pa Patrick's really going to have to win this round big because right now I got him down two rounds to one. <laughs> He's in real tough. The other guy, uh, Claggett, seems to be coming on, seems to know where he, where he is, finding him all the time with combinations, sticking going to, to downstairs, going upstairs, uh, making a real tough fight for our, our friend from the West Coast to, uh, to win. Well, I'm sure as far as Steve Claggett is concerned, too, Ken, that he wants Petrick to engage in some serious action here so he can get him tired out. I'm sure he must feel confident that once uh, Petrick gets tired, he says his punches are going to slow. And it's going to give him a, an opportunity to do what he did in round number three. Exactly. And I mean, Claggett really does put his punches together well. He's a very, very patient young guy. And, he, and there's been a lot of pressure on him. He could have been exposed here, but he didn't. He, he elected just to stay nice and tight and keep his punches and combinations exactly what he's doing right now. A lot of damage to the left eye of Dave Petrick. He's taken a lot of big right hands from Steve Claggett here tonight. Uh, Petrick has not been able to protect that right side. He's keeping that left hand of his down, and Claggett has taken advantage, and subsequently, uh, he's uh, he's obviously very, very damaged on that left side of his face. See, well, well, what's happened is just the, the, the ability of Claggett is really starting to show now in this fourth round, and, and if I was had anything to do with the, our friend Petrick, who's a great young fighter from Vancouver, I would uh, lose the number of this uh, Claggett because you don't want to fight him anymore. Get some, put some wins together, and then uh, come back maybe at another time. Patrick still not giving up, giving it at 110 percent. You got to give this guy a lot of credit. He is battling away and trying to win this fight against a guy that he has already lost to once before. So you know that he has a desire. But Steve Claggett comes back every time Patrick fires something. Claggett has an answer for it. And boy, this has just been a fantastic fight to watch. If you're a fan of Steve Claggett, tough if you're a fan of Dave Patrick. Exactly. Patrick, you know, he's showing tremendous amount of guts here. He's, he's a real tough kid. And he's, just, he's been in against the same guy two in a row. I wish that they would they would take it a little easier with him, give him let him build up a little bit more and come back and fight Mr. Claggett another day.
but uh, every time out fighting a guy of this caliber, Watch it's not easy on your fighter, no matter how tough he is. There you've seen in the exchange of punches right there how Steve Claggett is able to see the punches of Dave Petrick and, and how fresh that Claggett remains here in the fourth round. And getting to the point for, I think, Steve Claggett for him to move up to six rounders and start challenging guys who are a little bit more experienced and uh, see what he can do there with seconds to go. Exactly. He's, he's, a, he's really shown in this fight that he can fight a real, t knowing that he's in a real tough fight, come out and produce a real good, a real good show for everybody here at the Shaw Conference Center. You got to tip your hat to Claggett. He really did fight a great fight. And Patrick, on the other hand, a great, great fight on his, but just a little bit short again. A great battle between two boxers, and we've got the results just around the corner. So Steve Claggett comes out, Kenny, and basically for, through the first couple of rounds, really didn't look all that impressive. But then, just like that, Dave Petrick kind of started to lose the steam, the aggressiveness that he needed to win this fight. And just like that, uh, Steve Claggett, Steve Claggett really did a great job in the final few rounds. He really did. Claggett's uh, ability really started to show in the last uh, round and a half, especially. Looks like uh, Dean Panis has the official results. He's just checking it over. And uh, okay, we're ready, folks. Let's go to our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get our official decision, one more time for these two young welterweights for proving the second time was just as good as the first. After four rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. Judge David Miller Sikorik scores at 39-37 for Steve Claggett. <laughs> Judge David Haas scores at 39-37 for David Petrick. Yeah! That's right! That's right! Number one! And Judge Ron Hader scores it. 38-38. This vote is declared a draw. Six 